Well, they'll have her out of there right away. Here we're going to see it again. Powers bringing the ball down the court. She passes off to Zagans. She starts driving the lane, and you can see the offensive fouls when she pushed with her arm Cheryl Walters. Number 25, Carrie Olson with the game. Chisholm with a press, but not an intense one. Henderson gets it into the front court. Henderson looking to tie it up. I don't think they've ever led. Yeah, they did, right at the beginning of the ball game, they did. But that was the only time. They're looking inside. Peeper, no good. Rebound is up and good by Lisa Walters, who hawks those boards. Yes, and that was a nice bank shot. Another important thing to look for when you're underneath, use the glass as much as possible to put that rebound back in. Good coaching point, Coach. Ten points for Lisa Walters. 22-22 is the score. 5-16 remaining, third quarter. Judy McDonald off balance. Chisholm gets it back. Laura Lackner out on top to Powers. Olsen has checked in. Carrie Olsen for Chisholm. She has it right there. 5'7", senior guard. There's a shot off the side of the backboard taken by Powers, but we have a foul called on number 31, Laura Lackner, and that is her third, and Chisholm beginning to get into a little bit of foul trouble. And they rely so heavily on their five starters, it could be trouble for them. If you remember, Judy, the uh, Chisholm coach, Mike Cicchetto, said before the game, Henderson has an excellent inside game, and talk about this. that's really uh, hurt him to this point. Good head fake. Lisa Walters puts Henderson on top, 24-22. She has 12 points. I don't imagine there have been too many occasions during Chisholm's season when they have been down by two in the third quarter. This is uh, completely foreign to them. It'll be interesting to see how they handle it. Traveling, Henderson gets it back. Laura Lackner walked with the ball. Laura had 21 we points We might see a timeout here. Timeout on the floor with a score. Henderson, 24, and Chisholm, 22. Now, both of these teams, Henderson and Chisholm, are unbeaten, 24-0, and 0, identical records. It's going to be very sad at the end of the game for one of these teams. 4-12 remaining in the third quarter. Henderson has grabbed its first lead since early in the first quarter. Chisholm trying to put a little heat on the ball. Driving is Ellen Hines, and she turns it over. They'll go the other way. Chisholm with a chance to tie it up. 4.03 left, third quarter. Let's go down to the table. Uh, we have uh, some comments from Randy and Jeff. Well, Tom, an interesting note, you know, Chisholm has no seniors on the ball team as Judy McDonald hits another shot. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if they're down or tied with Henderson as we head down the stretch, how much poise they will have. Just a reminder, Tom, consolation play today in AA Chasco over Durham Hall, 58-51. Duluth East by two over Washburn, 49-47. Class A, Benson defeated Wheaton, 35-32. And Eden Valley Watkins got 41 points from Janice Streep to defeat Wobbin, 71-25. Of course, in championship play earlier today, Lake City defeated Janesville, 44-38 in Class A. Judy McDonald's last basket now gives her 20 points. 20 of Chisholm's 24. Henderson gets the tip. We're tied 24 all. Ryder. Working the ball back and forth. Henderson playing deliberate against the zone and traveling. Or is it going to be a three second violation? Three seconds. Substitution. Coming in for Henderson. And do we have that number? Oh, yeah, 22. Tammy Fossum comes in. And out of the lineup, Ellen Hines. Tied up. Chisholm with a chance to take the lead here. Good pass down under. And Chisholm now leading Laura Lackner. 
Her first two points of the game, she had 21 yesterday. She averages 16 a game. Well, they've done a job on her completely. Just shut her down. Chisholm. There you see the Chisholm bench there until the view was obstructed by one of the officials. Jump shot. We're tied again. That shot by Cheryl Walters, 14 points. The sisters Walters are devastating, I'll tell you. They are, and that very nice form on that jump shot. Well, Henderson, uh, Ellen Hines coming back in to the lineup and checking out is Jane Peeper. Henderson basically goes with six players. Coach making some uh, defensive adjustments here. Ryan Bremer of Henderson. They're out of the Valley Conference. Chisholm out of the Iron Range. Stepping on the line is number 31 of Chisholm, Laura Lackner, and Henderson gets it back. 2-10 remaining third quarter. We are tied 26 and 26. Tom Ryder along with Coach Judy Johnson of Burnsville. Tom, there's a shot of the Chisholm bench you just saw. They have five reserves. And now they have an enrollment of about 297 kids. If we can get a shot of the Henderson bench, they have an enrollment of 94 kids. And yet look at how many reserves they have on the bench. Must be a good program. Sign of a good program. The shot is up and good by Henderson. Cheryl Walters once again, and Henderson leads 28 to 26. She's deadly up by the free throw line. You're allowed 15 players on your roster coming into the state tournament, and Henderson has used up that allotment. Here's Chisholm now. The shot no good by Laura Lachter. Firing it up and in. A big bucket there by Ellen Hines. Nice job by Ellen Hines. Henderson leading 30-26. I just counted the uh, roster for Chisholm. They have 10 players, so... They uh, chose not to use up the allotment of 15. Here's Judy McDonald, short. Pushing is the foul call against Chisholm. It's going to be on number 31, Laura Lackner, who's uh, having a, or is it 13? Do I have my numbers reversed? It's on Linda Hill. Her first. That's the fourth team foul on Chisholm. Fourth team foul on Chisholm. And Henderson has things going its way. We're under a minute now in the third quarter. Henderson by four, they have the ball. Nice lead pass, jump shot, perfect balance on the shot. Lisa Walters. You know, one thing you'll notice now is that Chisholm is not waiting for the good shot on offense, whereas Henderson is. They're patient on offense, waiting for the good shot and getting it. Henderson is a Six-point leader right now. Judy McDonald hit the front rim, the back rim, the backboard, and went in. 32-28. Judy McDonald, 22 points. The team has 28, so she's been the whole show. Henderson, trouble getting it into the front court. Janet Ryder, they didn't get it. Ten seconds. Timeline violation. They have 10 seconds to get it from the back court to the front court. The time starts as soon as the ball touches a player inbounds. 12 seconds remaining, third quarter. Henderson leading 32-28. Down the lane, Powers fires it up and in, banks it in nicely. 32-30 is the score. Henderson by two, they led by six. And that is the end of the third quarter with a score, Henderson 32 and Chisholm 30.